Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Hope you're doing well. If you're new, welcome. And if you're revisiting, thanks for stopping by again. So today I'm actually quite excited. Um, if you haven't heard, Makeup Revolution has now changed its name to Revolution. And they've also brought out some new um, some new products under under a new name, um, under a new brand rather. And that new brand is called Revolution Pro. And um, at the same time, they've discontinued their other brand called Freedom. Um, quite a lot of Freedom products are discounted on their website if you do check out their products. Um, so Tan Beauty is now Revolution. Revolution. Makeup Revolution is now just Revolution. And they've now brought out another brand called Revolution Pro. So um, the products I will be covering are, I think, mostly Revolution Pro. And there are a few other products from, you know, the whole... For either one of the brands that I've just mentioned so um actually I don't know where to start okay I will start with the highlighter so I got one of so they basically so they launched um two different types of highlighters um two different palette highlighters um there was the four um the quad which is I think seven or eight pounds and they also launched this one which is six pounds um, right, so let me just log onto their website so I can give you the correct information. So they have three versions of this, and this is the gold highlighter. So the full name is Revolution Pro Supreme Highlight, and the name is gold. They also have ice and metals. So ice is for the really super pale, um, and metals is more of a deep bronzy type of colour. So this, if you hope you can see... So this is more of a, um, like a slightly corally champagne. This is more of a gold and this is more of a kind of whitey gold. So it's what it looks white, but it's one of those highlighters that swatches gold-ish or white and gold. So um, this is the gold palette. So I'm just going to swatch it for you just so you can see what it looks like. So this is an up close. So actually I didn't swatch it in order. So this figure is the kind of really light almost white gold this is the middle color which is gold and this is the one the color to the right which is more of a champagne -y color Now this is what they swatch like, so I've hopefully swatched it in the right order even though I didn't take it from the pan in the right order. So this is the white, that's the true gold and this is more of the champagne gold. Now as you can see they're super pigmented but the only problem I have with this is the texture. I have other highlighters from them and they're quite creamy or at least they're quite smooth. These feel quite chunky and gritty and on my hand if you can see where the swatch starts. This is upside down. Oh, I can't turn my hand around. This is where I started swatching and it just feels quite chunky and glittery. So I'm not sure how this would apply it on my face. Um, I have to try it out and see, but I'm a bit wary of that because of the texture. But it does look really nice. I mean, the pattern in there is really, really nice, but it's not the smoothest. So I'm a bit iffy about that. Um, so um, this highlighter palette is £6. And like I said, they have another one, which is the 4K. Um, it's more of a quad. It's, it's also a bigger palette. Um, so it comes in two colours. So the 4K comes in rose gold and gold. And so I got the Pro Supreme highlighter palette. Next, I'm going to be talking about the lip products. So I got two lip products from their range. So this one's name is Premonition and this is called Semblance and they're £4 each. So these are supposed to be, um, so the full name for these is Revolution Pro Supreme Matte Lip Pigment and they're supposed to be uh, matte liquid lipstick. 
So it says they're comfortable to wear and packed with rich pigment. Um, Revolution Pro Matte Lip Pigments dry down to a matte finish that doesn't budge or smudge. So they're in 30 shades, which is a lot. I mean, they're just too many. <laughs> so they're described as being as having a creamy formula that glides on with a soft dough for applicator for even coverage and unbeatable vibrancy. Um, so you can also top it off with a gloss if you prefer. But, um, so I got two colours. I'm just going to swatch Semblance and then I'm going to swatch Premonition. So I do love the packaging as well. Um, I think the packaging on the highlighter looks a bit cheapish. Um, but the packaging on the Pro Supreme um, lip, glo lip gloss um, liquid lipstick looks a bit more high end. And I like the fact that you can see the colour um, right through. So this is clear plastic and you can see the colour. I like the fact that the bottles, um, the bottle, the containers... Um, what do you call it? It's a square, square uh, tube rather. So this is semblance right there. It's more of a grey, like a grey mauve. Um, it's quite a cool tone colour for me and obviously I ordered these online. I ordered them straight from Tan Beauty and they looked like, they basically look different. Um, that's one of the problems of, problems of ordering online. Um, what you see isn't necessarily what you get. So yeah, um, so this is Semblance. Semblance is actually quite similar to the colour I have on my lips right now, which I'll get to in a minute. Um, so Semblance is more, is actually better and I think I'll be able to mix the two. So I should be able to save this. This is quite cool. I might be able to save it if I wear a lip liner um, or maybe mix it with a warmer colour. But this on its own is quite pale for me. So yeah, I'm not sure what I'll do with this, but I definitely, in fact, I'll have to mix it. I don't think I'll be able to wear it on its own. But yeah, I definitely like the way they swatch. They, they are quite nice and creamy and I hope they dry down. I haven't worn them so this video is more is going to be more of a kind of show and tell and just showing you what they look like rather than how they apply. Um, and then I'll comment on the packaging as well. So the next thing um, I will be talking about is... So these two lip glosses um, are not from the Revolution Pro range. Um, they are from basically when they were called Makeup Revolution. So this is just one of their... Um, oh no, sorry, what am I talking about? So this is a Revolution lip gloss. So they also launched lip glosses. So this, is, this um, lip gloss isn't from the Revolution Pro range. Um, it is just called Revolution. So um, it's just a lip gloss in a clear tube and this colour is called Bare All and unfortunately like I say unfortunately because I, already, I can already see the colour. I think it's just like Semblance. So I'm going to swatch it next to Semblance so you can see and it's an even cooler colour but because it's a lip gloss um, it's got a bit of pigment to it as well but it's not fully pigmented. So this is the lip gloss and that Semblance. So if you want it or if you're you know lighter than me or if you feel, if you feel like you might like these colors you could definitely put the matte down and then top it up with this color so this is called bear it all or bear all bear all and yeah so this is also three pounds it's i've tried it on top of um so i lined my lips and i put it just straight on top of my lips and it was fine actually so um even though it's quite pale it's more of a kind of a, a grey brown so if you line your lips with a, like a dark brown lip um, lip liner and then put this on it looks really nice so I'm hoping that's what I should be able to do with semblance so the next uh, lip gloss I'm going to talk about right so I got this um, lip gloss separately I got it from a, comp a company I got it from a website um, that was selling makeup revolution products so I just thought I'd feature it in this haul together so this lip gloss is called Sagittarius and it's from their My Sign collection and it's quite similar to um, Premonition but it's really really pigmented and quite thick and creamy so this is um, Sagittarius I also have a palette from them actually but um, I'm thinking I might need to maybe talk about that later but I'll see if I have time to feature it in this video so the next thing I am um, so I quite like all these colors it's just some of them I'm not too sure how I would mix them but they're really nice they apply really well um, and that I'm wearing that Sagittarius on my lips right now so the next thing I'm going to talk about are the two things I'm actually probably more excited about because I can wear them every day so there are these, these two foundations um, they do two different things 
the drop foundation is called the foundation drops and it's more of, it's meant to be more of a sheer to medium um, kind of like a natural finish or skin like finish and th um, this is called the revolution pro full cover camouflage foundation so it's meant to be a full coverage foundation it's thicker it's what i've got on my face right now actually and i've also got the concealer of this so the concealer is also called full cover camouflage concealer the concealer is in c12 and the foundation is in f13 so i already got their stick foundation and that is also in f13 and that was the closest shade to me so um i'm just going to squeeze out a bit so you can see and the foundation um is slightly on the red side the concealer is quite thick and you don't need a lot of it at all so this is F13 and that is the concealer so the concealer is really really thick I'm just gonna put some of the foundation drop next to the full cover foundation it's really it's not so watery that it completely slips off so I didn't want to put too much just because it just because it might go too runny so that is the uh, foundation drop in F13 as well and it looks like it might be maybe slightly redder than the full coverage foundation so I don't think they're exact um, matches in terms of colour um, I have tried the foundation I really really like it and um, I think it holds up really well throughout the day the concealer I really really like as well because it's full coverage but it doesn't actually sink in into my um, the lines under my eyes and it reminds me um, of my uh, it's hot Amazonian clay. Is it Amazonian clay? The creaseless um, concealer in the tube. So Tarte have a, another concealer that's not thick shape. That one's really good. Um, so the creaseless, it's like a creaseless foundation, foundation, creaseless concealer. That's the one I really like. And this reminds me so much of that. And it's, so this concealer, um, actually I didn't even tell you how much. So the foundation is uh, seven pounds. So the drop foundation is £7 and so is the tube foundation. The concealer is £5. Um, they also have a setting spray which I have used today. It's really good as well. I think it's very similar to the other setting sprays that they, they have. This is called the Supreme Hold Finishing Spray and it looks like this. The mist um, is it's fine enough but it's not as fine as say the mist that you would get from like a Studio Fix um, container. But um, it's really good. It's, it disperses um, the setting spray really well, so I quite like that. Next thing I got was the Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter. And it looks like this. It's more of a blush to me, and it's got this really pretty patting inside. And the name of this is Rose Gold Lights. I have it at just um, below. Just I've used it as a blush um, topper. And I have it under um, my Pea Pie sleek uh, my sleek pea pie uh, blusher so it's almost like a sheen and i have that just um as a topper to my blush and on top of that i have um another highlighter from w7 but yeah so those uh, so that is the um the newest addition to my makeup revolution highlighters i also have three different highlighters from makeup revolution which isn't part of this haul by the way so this is the one i really like um, i haven't used it in a while so this one is called rejuvenate and it's a strobe highlighter okay so um the other highlighters i do have from the makeup revolution range is the vivid baked highlighter and i have the vivid baked bronzer so this one this highlighter is called um golden light it's a white iridescent highlighter but it swatches gold and this is a marbled effect um what do you call it bronzer and i use it as highlighter i don't really like shimmery bronzer so um it's a really good highlighter um so that's like the newest edition so this vivid baked highlighter i use as blush so lastly um before my battery dies i'm just gonna quickly go through these palettes yes so I, I think apart from the foundations and the concealer, these palettes are it. So this one is definitely my favourite. I love a colourful palette. So um, this palette is called Trends Mischief Mattes and it's all mattes. Just look at 
ease. I can't wait to create um, looks with them. What I really like about this palette is the fact that the names are under each shade. And um, the only thing is it doesn't have a mirror, so that's the downside. But um, I don't mind paying £8 for this palette for it to not have a mirror and have all these colours. And I have swatched a little bit of these colours and they are very pigmented. Um, the next is this one. So this is called Mirage and from what I hear this is meant to be a very good dupe if I can get it open. It's meant to be a very good dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, I never remember the name of that palette. I don't do high end um, palettes. Where's my nail gone? Okay, one of my press on nails have just disappeared. Anywho. Okay. This is definitely a problem. I couldn't get this open. It's probably one of the problems of having a cheaper palette. It's just not necessarily consistent. So these colours are really nice. It's a mixture of mattes and shimmers. So. Right, so. Um, there are a couple of shimmers. I think there is one, two, three, four, five, six. These two look like they're satins. So um, I think there are two satins, about six shimmers, and the rest of them are mattes. So they're really, really nice, warm colours. I love the fact that they're square. They look really professional. I love the packaging. So um, I'm definitely going to swatch. Um, I'll do separate a separate recording of the swatches, just so you can see how they look. But yeah, these are the colours, and they just look really nice. I've swatched a few of them, and I, and I really like them. Um, I think, so yeah, those are... Um, so those are the things that I bought from Makeup Revolution, or Revolution can I say. Oh, one last thing. I also got um, a highlighter and contour palette. It's a powder contour palette and it's a set. So this is the Freedom brand that I was talking about that they've discontinued, uh, or they are discontinuing. And it's the Pro Artist um, Highlight and Contour palette. If I can get it open again. Goodness sakes, what is it with these palettes? Right, so it comes with a really nice mirror. So these are the contour shades. There's a banana powder and a few peachy colours, um, peachy highlight colours, and this is more of a whitey colour. Um, I really like them, but I'm just not sure about how dark, they, how they, the darkest shade will look. Um, it looks a lot more pigmented online, is definitely what I was going to say. I wasn't expecting it to look like this. I thought it was a bit warmer online, but these look a bit cooler. But I will see how they apply. It's definitely worth trying out, and I think it, I bought it on offer for £5. And the um, brush it comes with is quite nice. It's not necessarily high end or anything, but it will do the job quite well. So this side is meant to be for powder. This is meant to be for contour. So um, yeah, so that is everything that I got. I can't wait to do this, um, do a look with these eyeshadows in another video. So stay tuned for that. Um, I will definitely have a few more videos uploaded very, very soon. So um, please don't forget to subscribe, um, comment, like, share, um, and so that is it for now. I will see you in my next video. Have a blessed day. Bye.